Hello everybody. The, um, in this video, I will make a very short preview about uh, the new version of Pages. Now, if you click on Pages Start, there is will be um, uh, to choose a template blank or uh, from reports or magazine. Uh, here is my templates that I used. It's um, an extra um, application that I download for extra template on Pages that has uh, pre-exist uh, format for magazines and uh, arrangement and so on. It's quite interesting in this point of view using uh, pages for that kind of purpose. But now, just to show you the inside menus of pages, I will go with blank. Now, um, as you know, pages sorry, pages is the equivalent of um, Word as a program for text editing. Now it's really simple and it's really uh, easy to use, it's really straightforward and uh, not like Word when you have to really learn and learn to, to get everything and so many menus. Uh, but again, uh, let's check the menus, pages, I will just go to references just to see what you can change. Here you can change when opening whether you want it to open with a template or directly with a, a blank. And uh, Let's go directly with a blank. Uh, default size, uh, default zooms here, default the size text, the author if you'd like to read, and rulers, how to set them, and so on. Next is the file, the usual new, open, duplicate, save, export. Now, here's the page thing, it's really good because you can, um, if you want to continue writing on Word, you can always export it in Word. Um, and PDF and page setup, print, save as template, set a password, and so on. Edit and do this is the text editing between doing and do cut, copy, pass, duplicate section, track changes. Um, here's find, which is um, also equivalent to find and uh, replace which is um, find and replace, which is which mean you can do this the same function on, on Word. Edit, find spelling, grammar, substitution, transformation, speech. Well, rarely I use these kind of things because I already um, write speech, start speaking. Maybe this will read. Let's try this one. Hello, YouTube. Perfect. So it read it back to you. Um, edit end note citation. Um, this is to edit the end note citation. Uh, this is the intonation author date numbered Vancouver. Uh, we will see where to get uh, the end note insertion um, option. And here start dictation. Maybe it will write for self. Let's see. Hello YouTube. My Mac Pro is a little bit old since I bought it in 2010 and I guess that's why this kind of function are a little bit slow, especially that I updated my software to Yosemite and I'm guessing it's still working fine um, but yeah, I'm, I did notice it, it did really slow down a little bit from even the previous one or from even Snow Leopard so he did not write anything here let's try again YouTube
Hello? 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 Well, it is happening at least. It's not happening at... Um, it's not happening as it's supposed to be, you know, faster um, and so on. But um, at least you know that this option exists. Um, and maybe your computer will be faster and much quicker to, to respond. Anyway, let's do this. The editing. No, the editing. Yeah, we want editing, special characters. Yeah, these are the special characteristics that you can add. Now, insert. Now, actually, this in, in this list, there are two options that actually uh, made me go back to Word um, to use. Um, now, pages was really good in dealing with so many uh, um, numbers of pages, pictures, and tables without slowing down. Um, but I couldn't continue doing pages because of two uh, things that I couldn't do on pages that I was able to do easily on Word. Uh, now, if, if, if you know, after the explanation, if you know how to do this on pages, and please um, contact me in, in, uh, in a comment or email, and maybe I can, um, I can learn how to, to do this. Now, first of all, adding sections. Um, now, the importance of adding section is um, the ability to have different orientation if you have a very wide table. Uh, you just want it to be in a landscape page rather than on a normal page. So now if we, to show you what I'm talking about, you can go to uh, add section break. Now this is the second section break and then again insert section break. So we have three section break. Let's go to uh, view here and say view page thumbnail. Li uh, now here is we have three section. How do you know it's a section? Um, because when you click on the th um, on the thumbnail, you will see that there is a yellow, um, small yellow line surrounding it. It will surround the whole um, the whole section. Uh, for example, in, in, in the section two, let's add another page. Now oh, here we go. See. So this is section one, only one page. This is section two, you can see the line, and you can see page three is a little bit smaller than page two. And this is section four. So it's really, you can tell directly which, uh, how many section you have and um, how do you uh, um, change them. Uh, sorry, uh, how do you uh, choose them. Now, I wanted, for example, to have section two in landscape so I can have tables, white tables in there while I just want page 1 and 4 to be normal. Now for you when you choose a text on the right hand there will appear this list when you can change uh, the text um, title from uh, and heading from body to title to subtitle to heading 1, heading 3, uh, three and so on. So that's how you do it, heading 2 for example, and then you can change all the style, the layout, and uh, more, which is here, keeping line at the same page, remove paragraph, following, um, following paragraphs, I really haven't used this one, I did not need to. Now layout, yes, it's uh, numbers of column and the indenting and um, tabs. Yes, it's the, um, the tab at the beginning of the text, which is also important uh, because some different styles need different tabs. Now, this is the style, the font, and this is the normal, the font and the, the shape of the font and the style. Alignment and the spacing between the lines and, of course, bullet listing. So, uh, all what you need to edit the text is just try to start with as soon as you choose the text. Now, for us to do more on the document set, uh, document formatting, you click on the document uh, icon on the right, and you have two options, document and sections. Here, I to choose the printer, and here, the page size, A4, you have envelopes, and so on, which is 
technically related to the printer. And here's the orientation. Now we want the second one is oriented in oriented landscape and here it is. Now it changed everything. Now usually on Word you just go to the section and you say don't match previous, but here it doesn't really happen. Here is only header and footer that doesn't match previous and it doesn't really change it. So you can't really have a section with a different orientation or as far as I know because I really tried hard to to figure out how to do it by a single single section. Uh, I was not able to. So if you know how to do it, please leave a comment and maybe I will update my information. Now that's how to change the section orientation or the page orientation, the header, the footer size and so on, the margin. Um, the other problem with the insertion, let me click on the text so we can have better active um, options. Page number, page count, date and time, the usual table of content, uh, font, note, which is um, a small reference if you want, uh, table, This is the option of tables, and it's really easy with pages. You just, um, uh, for example, if you want more columns, choose the table. If you want more columns, uh, col columns here, sorry, columns, you just increase the numbers. If you need more rows, again, uh, increase the number. Uh, let's see if tapping, uh, tap, yeah, just tap, 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 and then it will increase just like Word. Uh, now, what's the other options that we had, which is here, insert, tables, basic. Technically the same, but this is not highlighted. But also other option, insert, table, plain. Yeah, no highlighted header, again, insert, table, sums. Yeah, when there is an extra thing to sum up. But these are the tables. Insert charts. To do column. Edit chart data. Well, if you have a small data, um, here will be really useful since you just can't do it directly. No need to have it in Excel. Um, region 1, which is supposed to be the blue. If you actually just two. Twelve. Well, it is. You can change the data, change the name. Here's region 1, for example, I want this one to be our sales and region 2 to be uh, I don't know, um, truck sale yeah and uh, let's see what other options do we have insert charts 2d bar 2d stack column 2d line 3d line let's try the 3d line Okay. Okay, I'm guessing from here you can rotate it the way you want. Okay, that's good. Uh, how to edit the chart? Again, here is the data. If you if you really know, if you don't have a large number, or maybe you can copy and paste from Excel, and then you don't have to have Excel. If you have only small charts to draw and then insert let's see um we were at charts what's this interactive column okay um so that's mean it changed but i don't think this one will be moved to um to PDF, uh, let's. I would try to export it to PDF to see how this one will look on PDF. Okay, so we have um, 
April, May, June, July. Oh, okay, so it's interactive from uh, one month to another. This is April, this is May, this is June, and this is July. I don't know, if it runs by itself. And you definitely have to click, it doesn't run by itself. Okay, now uh, let's see, else insert. That's actually quite fun. Interactive scatter graph. So I can see the um, Now let's start again on here, which maybe it's going to insert, chart, interactive scatter. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, I guess for every option, it tells you how things are changing. Quite fun. Changing edit data, here it is, region 1, region 2, and the colors, everything. Now let's see the options here. Share X value. Okay. Now I think here we changed the month. We're gonna change by uh, by month now for every value. Region two and her region. Well, this is not really what we want, but now here's the insert and the problem with insert set formula some production. I don't know why this is not um, not active. Now I know this one is the math type equation. I think with this is the second problem with the, that I found that I cannot really use uh, uh, this uh, program because you need to add a lot of equations, especially if you are writing a thesis on an article or a report. Now in in Word you can insert it as a text and you can edit it any time and so on and. A lot of journals accept that kind of formula. They don't accept it to be as a small image because it has a problem with format and position inside the page, which is quite annoying because if you exported, um, uh, if you exported your formula as an image to PDF, then it will disposition itself by itself, and it's it shows really ugly, and you cannot really control it till you change it to a normal uh, text um, as as existing word, which is quite fine. Now the math type equation which is the, um, this extra program, the free program that I have to download which is math type which is look like the old thing that exists in world. Now it takes time to open which is a very small program, it's not a big one. I think you can just google it and download it from there. Still opening. Meanwhile, let's talk about endnote citation, which is from here you can insert, insert your endnote uh, references. Let's go and open that. Here it is. Now if you insert, for example, x equals 5 plus y, oh no, let's, I'm um, sorry, we need to copy it and then close it and then go somewhere and control V to paste it, and here it is. It's an image, uh, it's not really as good as it looks in the world. So, so and double click on it, it might allow you to edit it again. No, it doesn't. And uh, that's annoying because that will disposition your text and it really look bad when you are writing with a huge text and there is an equation in it and then it's also when you export to PDF it also look not very nice. Now format again front text the usual movie images 
arrange again this is just a normal arrangement between which one you want to font at the beginning if you have so many um, uh, text or images um, view uh, show rulers which is the ruler on top view word count small word count here we only wrote four words view well thumb thumbnails which is the one that exists here on the left um, guides hide guides it should be show guides show layout which is the layout I mean here is the header insert page number insert page number and here is the footer again view show invisibles and so on show arrange tools don't really use this too much and share share link via iCloud I also don't use this one and so on so I'm guessing uh, this is covered the basics actually of this uh, program so you would know what to expect if you are planning to purchase it. Well, for sure, it's definitely cheaper than Word for Mac. It's only fourteen pound from App Store, and um, I also bought the other two programs, Numbers, which is the equivalent of Excel, and Keynote, which is the equivalent of uh, PowerPoint. And I will try to do these two software a small preview about them and what their menu cont contain and what do they have and how do they feel to navigate uh, in other videos thanks for watching